Hello, I'm Rupert Murdoch. To listen to the rest of this episode of Gareth Jones on Speed, please send me £120. Now. Hello and welcome to Gareth Jones on Speed, the podcast which belongs to the people. Well, this one does anyway. Normally, we have to come up with half-baked ideas for this programme, right? But not so today, as I hand over and devolve responsibility to Violet Berlin. V, can you explain what, what, what's going Who's on? Who's been giving us half-baked ideas this week? Hey! <laughs> 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 <Why? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> so don't pull the mic over there. <laughs> Whoever came up with an idea for that Easy. mic stand, clearly. Well, the ghost of David Stebbings has just pushed the mic stand over when Zog said that, because it, indeed, it is he who has come up with baked ideas for this week. We've this had... is the man who does the cartoons about things that have happened on the programme. Correct. Aha. Uh-huh. And he wrote to me saying, I've got this great idea for a competition, forward this email to Violet and let her read it and she can run it. We don't know anything about it, but Violet's got to run it. So, so David has written a quiz and he very cunningly zipped it up in a document with a password Vettel for me to unzip and read out the clues, which mean absolutely... Now we know a password. (laughs) (laughs) Whoops. I was the wrong person to entrust your password to, David. (laughs) And I've got these uh, these clues. Ted thinks he's sitting there going, I've had a 1,004 attempts on my Hotmail account. (laughs) (laughs) What's going on here? (laughs) I've got a huge overdraft. How did that happen? (laughs) (laughs) On the other hand, I now have 27 mobile phones. (laughs) (laughs) So I don't really know much about the questions or the answers, but I can read them out. All will be revealed. I will tell you how it's going to work. There are four questions, each with three clues, and you have to name the car and the TV detective or detectives that use the car. I'll read out the first clue, and you all have a guess. Then I read out the next clue, and you all have to either stick to your original guess or change what you think it might be. And then we get the third clue, and uh, that's your last and final guess. Just to recap, what we're looking for here is one car and one TV detective that drove that car in their capacity as a TV detective. Correct. Good. Okay. This is probably inspired by a conversation we had on the programme about our fictitious 70s or 80s detectives, The Shooting Breaks. Oh, yes. Do you remember? Uh, Any yeah. word back from the major TV channels about that? Absolutely and utterly nothing. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. I wondered if you'd be interested in another idea for your podcast beyond the usual quality digression into the world of British Leyland cars. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which. <laughs> so this is how it's going to work. There are four questions, each with three clues. I read the first clue out and you all have a guess. Then I read the next clue out and you either stick with your original guess or change your mind if you want. Okay, so it's like like uh, your game, poker, isn't it? You stick or twist. You're thinking of a slightly different game, but if you'd like to play poker like that, please come along any (laughs) time. I don't know games. I like the way that you sort of suggested that that Zog had invented poker. (laughs) (laughs) Did you invent poker? I did. Did you? In fact, I did. Well done. Could you you teach me how to play? I'm very honest. (laughs) What a bitch. Poker's lawyers will be on the phone, won't they? I am representing poker. Sorry, V, the quiz. <laughs> the the Dave Dave Stabbings, Stabbings, TV, TV detectives and the car. Car. So quiz. Question, Question one. one. This car is a classic British 70s design. Oh. Right. So I'll give you a clue yeah. and you say your guess. And then I give you the next clue and you can stick okay. or change. And then the third clue comes and right. then we Good. see. Okay. okay. So this car is a classic British 70s design. I'm just going to get us rolling by saying the Hillman Avenger. I'm going to go with Jaguar XJS. Ooh. Well, all right. I'm going to go with Triumph TR7. Okay. Oh. So the next clue is reliability was never its strong point. The Hillman. I'm feeling better yes. than that. <laughs> I mean, we're, all, a, we're all feeling those better. Those two about questions are leading towards the same exact <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a British. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Go. I'm going to stick. Avenger. I'm sticking as well. I'm sticking as well. Yeah. yeah. That's what he says. He yeah. said that could be said for any British bed car of the 1970s. And the final clue is if it could go back in time, it would still be the same. Ooh. 
That's got us thinking. If we can go back in time, it could still be this. Oh, God, I wish I did crosswords more. That sounds like it's probably really <laughs> yeah. obvious when you know the answer. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If, if we go back, back in time, time, it would still be the same. Uh, it wasn't going to be in the Kylie Minogue video. Um, uh, well, actually, uh, what, the, what was the car in Randall and Hopkirk deceased? Woof. Was, uh, was that was that was it Mark II? Uh, oh, was it a mini? Oh, Kenneth Copeland. Well, he was, he was, he was, he was, as soon as he said, said, said mini, I suddenly thought, oh, maybe it's made Randall Hopkirk. It was, but, it, but that was 60s, that wasn't 70s. That was, yeah, uh, I think that was 60s. So, yeah, okay. um, wasn't <sighs> Randall Hopkirk one of them? Randall and Hopkirk, wasn't their son Guy Pratt, the bass player in Pink Floyd? It was Kenneth Cope, and what was the other guy called in. You don't remember. I can't remember. remember. Right. Um, right. And I'm, I'm just. Yeah, what that's got to do with time. It's all wildly off the. If you, sorry, let's just give this one more go. If it could go back in time, it would still be exactly the same. Yeah, I think. Now, I don't know the series, but I think that is to do with the actual detective oh, I'm just, series. Is it? No. Oh, oh, OK. I was, Are we talking about Life on Mars here? No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that one was shut down for okay, that was, yeah. okay. Um, Morgan came to mind because car that hasn't changed uh, much since over the years. But it's not a nine, but you, you couldn't really say that it's a nineteen uh, seventies car, could just, you? Uh, right. God, well, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm going to stick with my original answer. I'm going to say yeah, Triumph TR7 and Purdy from the new Avengers. I'll give you. I'm going to stick with Jagger XJS because I haven't thought of anything better since then. And that's uh, the same. I can't yeah, find my yeah, way out of thinking about the Hillman exactly. Avenger. The Tiger, by the way, for those who are interested, that's the one I was thinking yeah. about. Yeah. The Sorry. answer is Austin Princess and Dirk Gently. Oh. oh, okay. If it could go back in time, it'd be timeless. Is oh, that did gently he, uh, some sort of time travelling? Dirk Gently, a detective in a book by Douglas Adams. I think there were two Dirk Gently books, and in the long one dark of them, tea time of the soul being one of them, if I remember. And um, Dirk Gently's well, Dirk holistic Gently's holistic detective, detective agency, agency was certainly one. one. And in that one, I believe yes, there was right. time travel. All so, I remember from um, that is and that's that been the, made on telly quite recently as well. Hasn't was, it? Was yes, it? Yeah, yeah. with Stephen Mangan. Yeah. Yeah, it was quite good. Be funny. Why going back in time would it still be the same, the Austin Princess, I wonder? Um, well, because... I thought it was a pun on the name. He did... I, I, I can't remember the details of the plot. Maybe but it is, to, we just haven't worked Somebody did go back in time and something mm. didn't okay. change. Something okay, Dave Stebbins won. Us guys, nil. <laughs> William Arthur Philip Louis... Wilt thou have Catherine Elizabeth Middleton as your wedded wife? I do. Definitely. Ah, Mr Button, you've stopped at the wrong wedding. Oh, sorry, I was looking down. Yes, Petrus! We got a of speed! The Dave's TV Question two. Right, the second one. First clue. A TV detective's assistant, D.S. Martin Kite, owned this car in a short-lived BBC series. Martin Kite. So you can come up with a car... So this Wyndham. Is a, this is a detective's assi- assistant. <laughs> it was the Toyota yeah. Wyndham. A TV detective's assistant mm-hmm. owned this car in a short-lived BBC series. Short-lived BBC series. Well, the chances of us being out of seen it are reduced. Yeah, to I saw. Yeah, TV could, could we get any kind of clue as to okay. year? I'll give or you anything? the second clue. I'll move on to the second clue. Go on, then. Yeah. It was made by a Japanese manufacturer. Production started in the nineties and ceased in the noughties. Anyone driven a Mazda RX seven or eight? I was thinking of something to do with. I don't know, Honda... I don't know why Honda's coming to mind. Uh, oh God, I'm getting all seancey here. Honda. <laughs> I've got some seancey coming through. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna... Celica, Toyota Celica. Production mm. ended when? In the 90s of the noughties. Was there a... No, no, there no, 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 no. Right, can, can no, I get you all to nominate a car and then you can always change it after next clue, so... Oh, Lord. Um, so... Or just a manufacturer or something. OK, because it came to be in a once-in-a-lifetime moment of spirituality, I'm going to say Honda... Oh, crikey... I don't know. A Honda what, sports what, what, car. The S2000, the SS2000. Yeah, that wasn't, they didn't start, they didn't, that wasn't made as early as, what years, what, in what the the years noughties. again? It start, production started in the 90s and ceased in the noughties. Yeah, I can't 
Okay, this is too hard. You know what? I'm going to move on to the third clue. Yeah. Final clue. This car also featured in Pulp Fiction. Oh, Honda Civic. There was a Honda Civic in Pulp Fiction. You know, the Bruce Willis character. The one he crashed at the the junction. I had to crash the little Honda. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's Zed? So Zed's bizarrely, Zed. I might actually conceivably just have been right with my weird spiritual intervention. You might have actually there. just yes, uh, been coming through the airway. Is it the CRX I knew, I knew I was right. they're talking about? Was well, CRZ? What was it? It was the CRX. 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 But well, the one in Pulp Fiction. But that wasn't the one that crashed. That wasn't the one that crashed in Pulp Fiction. No, it was a regular. Although, ah, wait, hang on. Also in Pulp Fiction was a Honda NSX that Mr. Wolf drives. Yes. It was. And I warn you, I drive the They stopped building fast. it in the, in the Ooh, 2000s. I like that. Yeah, because they still make the Civic. Duh. Yeah. Honda NSX is Honda, my final yeah, I'll, answer. I'll second that. It's our final answer. So you've Watch got out, the car. Stebbings, we're coming for you. <laughs> yeah. You've got if the car, right. but yeah. have you got the detective? Detective? From the uh, 70s who drove that car. From the 70s? No, hang on, no, 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 that wasn't from the oh, time no, travelling no, through. Senna P.I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a great series. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> quite short-lived. No, what, no, what, 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 oh, sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't really mean that. That wasn't a joke. Oh, I'm not laughing, and that'd be funny. I'm just laughing at how embarrassing that is. <laughs> Whoa! <clears throat> Come on, what's the answer, baby? I uh, know. Hang on, wait. No, so we've got to work out. We, so we, we said detective. You said that the oh, same. No, I can't it. repeat I just, it. I, made no. a, I, I said something off the cuff that was supposed to be a little <laughs> throwback. Sorry, we'd already said, but it sounded like I was being slightly tasteless about it and Senna, and I wasn't. Okay. Though I was by accident. Okay. Um, uh, what, Honda NSX driven what, by. What detective? Well, this is supposed to be a detective assistant, right? So. What kind of? Ha- oh, what was that thing? Millionaire detective. No, 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 no. no. Okay, no, no. The one with um. <laughs> Suspicious. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. There was the fraud. <laughs> <laughs> what, no, what, what was the one with the American detective in London with a female assistant? Brandon. Dempsey and Makepeace. And Dempsey and Makepeace. Oh. Let's yeah, but go that was eighties. For- and I've met Michael Brandon, yeah, who the, played the, the, uh, this, Dempsey, this is, this is, uh, and he's this married to make peace. Time. I'm blathering now. No, okay, um, say, let's say, yeah, let's, was, have we got anywhere? We, it's not 70s, it's any time, any it's, detective. Yeah. That was my slip of the tongue there. Uh, any detective, but it's not Dempsey and Makepeace. It's not Dempsey and Makepeace. Oh, no, well, no, that was, was a nice idea. Was Mayo? Anyone heard of Mayo? Simon, Simon Mayo? <laughs> he's not a detective. I don't know. He's a DJ. The wizard. Sorry, where are you Christian a car DJ. fan and occasional personal <laughs> private <laughs> investigator, Simon Mayo. <laughs> no, it's a detective called was, Mayo. Really? Yeah. Where, <laughs> David Stebbins, you know of you're mad, man. What the hell? Never heard of him. Never heard of I think David Stebbings has confused <laughs> dreams with reality, <laughs> as we sometimes <laughs> do on this programme. <laughs> he's dreamt about this amazing <laughs> show called... Mayo! <laughs> Googling it now. <laughs> the crime will be almost complete. Not so fast! Oh no! Mayo's here! How did he get here so fast? I have a Honda NSX. <laughs> it's the later 3.2 model as well, so it has slightly more power. <laughs> it is all in his mind. There was no such series. I mean, it sounds great. He's got a good name. Mayo! And ketchup. <laughs> Maybe that's his assistant. <laughs> yes. He right. couldn't keep up with him because he had an NSX, so he called him ketchup. <laughs> no, I think it was a whole actually spin off from Condiment Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Salt and pepper, sir, reporting for duty. <laughs> 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 Lieutenant Mustard on the case. Uh, I'm going to start smoking, Mr. Page. <laughs> um, so it's in Wikipedia. Any news? No, oh, yeah, oh, yeah but Wikipedia. Wikipedia can be edited by anyone, including David Stebbings. <laughs> it's a uh, fair point. Who could have put that there to catch us out? Hello, um, are you the Lotus People's Front? Sod off! What? Lotus People's Front? We're the People's Front of Lotus! We ain't the Lotus People's Front! And the Lotus Popular People's Front! Oh yeah, Splitters! Splitters, yeah! Millful Splitters! Us. And the People's Front of Lotus! Splitters! Splitters. 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 What? The People's Front of Lotus! Splitters! We're the People's Front of Lotus! Oh, I thought we were the popular front. We're the people's front. Uh, hang on, hang on. Why have I happened to Caterham? Gareth Jones on speed. The Dave's TV Where 
question three. three. This car is an iconic American muscle car from the 70s. Ford Torino. From the 70s. OK, I'm going to go with Dodge Charger. Ooh. All right. Sake of argument, I'm going to go Pontiac Trans Am. I knew you were going to go GM. Even though technically knew... that's a pony car, not a muscle oh, car. Oh, it, it is a pony, yes, you're right, yeah. yeah. A variant of this car also starred in a film with Burt Reynolds. Oh, hello. Ooh, a cannonball Run, for example, or... Uh... Have you got it, do you think? Well, I'm sticking with Trans Am, mate. Oh, yeah? Because yeah. Smokey and the Bandit. Uh, mm, maybe, yeah. Go on, then. It's the F-flat form. I'm, st- I'm sticking with Charger for now, because okay. I haven't got cool. any better. Well, that, Although, it might have been secretly... A Burt, wasn't it that I Burt have been, I, Reynolds I film? Think, I think he might There was a Burt Reynolds film Rick called Brown also. Sauce, which was uh, <laughs> which starred Alison McGowan as well. Alison McGowan, Jessica Oyelowo, Hugh Rees, Lou Breen. Oh, got one more clue. third clue, clue when it wasn't doing J-turns... It spent its time Handbrake turns, I parked know. up next to a motorhome. Can we just clarify? Are these British TV detectives, or are these not? Oh, or these well, are these know. not British TV detectives? Uh, <coughs> because well, I'm going to go for whatever it was. Merely says TV detectives. Okay, in that case, I'm going to go for whatever it was that Jim Rockford was driving. Well, that's what I was thinking. Jim what, Rockford you think, had a, was it a Trans? It was a Trans Am. I'm pretty sure that was a Trans Am in the titles of that show. Slightly scruffy. It was trans-am. either a Trans Am or. Um, I'm, I'm convinced. Firebird. Uh, well, the, uh, 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 come. No, I always like the Allegros American. in Juliet Bravo. No, it would be a Camaro frankly. because they they started showing the same basic body now because a Firebird is a Trans Am. F car, mate, yeah. F car. Well, I can let you know that Zog is correct. It's a Pontiac Firebird Esprit. Yes! Esprit! Yes. 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 No, Esprit. Uh-huh. Esprit. No, no, it's, no, it's, a it's, it's, it's got to be a spree. It's got to be a Catholic spree. Spirit of Sancti. I've never heard the Esprit. Uh, <laughs> and the Rockford Files. Oh, okay. Rockford there's files. more doubt coming. And on can here. we just have a moment yeah. of respect for that theme tune? Oh, because we can't sing it because it would cost us money. <laughs> what was that? How did there's a lead in that. What is that? Is some kind of mad '70s synth? Uh, it was probably a uh, mini Moog or AP Odyssey, but just with the glide turned up a little bit and. Is it with leg- do you call it legato when you hold the one note down and play the ne- and uh, basically you play the next note while still holding the previous note, Port so Manso? you get a glide from one. Uh, um, uh, portamento is yeah the, the glide from one note to the other. Oh note. damn it! Um, Stabbing story checks out. I've just looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Firebird Esprit was featured in the Rockford Files. Well, so it was Esprit. Okay. Mm-hmm. You see, that, that's assuming that I'd ever seen the Rockford Files. I don't think I ever yeah, have. No. Too old There was then a crossover have, in which uh, Jim Rockford great. joined the team of detectives at Mayo. And, uh, <laughs> Rockford they, they Mayo! They went around mainly uh, allowing Belgians to uh, dunk their chips into it. <laughs> uh, oh, should we have the fourth and can... mercifully well, final one? Well, at the moment... <laughs> Let's just edit this so it looks like we got them all right. <laughs> we'll wait till the end and then we'll and just we record them. We'll, 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 we'll just pretend we got the answers from the off. <laughs> well, the last one you got, the Honda NSX, but not Mayo. So it's kind of two Hang and on. a half against one and a half. So can far. I just... Um, in order that we can edit this back in earlier... Was the TV show Mayo with Alistair McGowan? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not the Mayo. God, it, that's brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> Can I have my DVDs of Mayo back off you, by the way? Because I know you've, you've, you've had them for ages. This will work better if you don't laugh when oh, yeah. it's the first time. Yeah. Sorry I was late time. starting the show tonight, boys. I was watching my DVDs of the Rockford Fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, listen, let's do the fourth one, because yeah, um, on. Mayo's on in about 20 minutes, and I do want to watch it. <laughs> the the, the Dave's 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 TV Dave's 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 Question four. Okay, fourth one, the final one. Clue one. This car came out in the late 1980s and quickly established a cult following. Oh, I think we've all, I've have we got the same thing in mind here? Hey, oh, hang on, uh, I've, I've got the Honda NSX in mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when did it come out? Did you say in the late nineteen eighties? Late nineties. Late eighties. So Ooh, you, Audi you Quattro. Got, no, no, no early. Yeah, no early. Early. MX Five was it? When was the MX Five? Early eighties. Eighty nine. 
Was it? It was a 1990 model year car. Okay. Hello, ladies. Hello, <laughs> me uh, Go on. Uh, I'm saying the MX-5 then. So, say again, really Came out in the late 80s. And developed a cult following. established a cult following. That's all. Have that's, a punt. That's, that's all we've got. Have a punt. For the second clue, you can change it. Does this involve a detective again in this car? They all involve oh, detectives. Geez. That's the whole Branston point Branston Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Branston Pickle. <laughs> that was a great detective. <laughs> and he drove uh, a Maestro Turbo. And Tata! <laughs> HP! Cult following. Oh, crap. Go on, babes. Give us a clue. Give us a cue. Come on. Sorry, you haven't had your chance. I haven't had a guess, guess, but now I've drawn attention to myself and I haven't got one. So, oh, You're just too busy thinking of condiments. I know. Why. I'm just trying to be a smart ass. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Come on, let's have a second okay. clue. Okay. It has a turbocharger. Oh. Renault 5... When, when, oh, Sapphire. Yeah. Cosworth yeah, Sapphire. Yeah, yeah. It, oh yes, it's big I'm all over that. I'm Cosworth Sapphire. I'm saying Phil, uh, Ford, Jimmy Neil Cosworth okay. Spender. Spe- is that what it's called? Spender. Yeah. Jimmy Neil in Spender in a Ford Sierra <laughs> a Sapphire Cosworth. Was it the 500? Was it? No. No. no it wasn't. It was Can that, anyone it was hear a... TV on in the background there? <laughs> <laughs> is that? Are we all guessed out? I I'm, I think I'm that's spot on. Yeah, yeah. We're all going for that. Right. Okay. Go on, third, third clue. clue. Hive mind here. It is driven by one half of a northern detective partnership. Northern what? detective partnership. Well, Spender didn't have a part, um, did he? Did he? I did don't he? remember the show Because he all was a well, sort of angry so... loner with a face like a warm Northern shoe. Northern What about, okay, De- Dalil and Pasco, are they Northern? Uh, so, well, they're, they're, they're never, sort never of grummy, it. I think. Okay. <laughs> what about... Um... Boone? <laughs> Boone? 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 Was he a detective? Boone? Lovejoy? Yeah. That wasn't Boone. Northern unless you live in Northern. What if I went out and retrospectively invented some kind of what, sort of what, spicy dish that was called What's, Boone? Northern detective Salt and Sauce. Salt and bone. Chips Dave, and gravy. Dave Salt and pizza sauce. Now, don't forget this car came out in salt, the late 80s. Salt and vinegar. And quickly established a cult following. And so whatever the choice. detective, the half of the Northern Partnership was, was driving it in the late 80s oh, with a turbocharger. God. Yeah, that's really helping me right now. It could just be like a I'm turbo diesel. Of, yeah. <laughs> I'm just really not in the late I'm losing 80s. the will to live. Surely not. And um, also, me too. Uh, come on, detective well, duos. Zog has actually come quite close to it. Really? How come? Yes. Oh, what? How did I do that? You have quietly been working away, and you have actually mentioned the detectives already. What? Still in the Pasco? Uh, I, I've never watched the show. Just oh, I, okay. I have right. no idea right. what this is. And one I've, I've, more clue from me. By chance, oh, possibly Gareth might have driven. <laughs> A car by this manufacturer. Oh, in that the last narrows 10 it years, down. Owned, no, owned really... a car by this manufacturer owned. in the last 10 or 11 years. Well, that's 10 or 11 years. So, what, Saab, so that's got a bit of a lunch here, maybe. Saab. 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 Who drove a Saab? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, Saab, 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 Saab Turbo. Who? Who drove that, though? Who? Uh, what? Uh, either Dal- Dalziel or Pasco. Da- really? Oh, no idea. I don't think they're northern. I think they're Midlands anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart's Inquiry, Stebbings. You've <laughs> stitched us up here. I very rarely regret not watching more crap TV cop shows, but um, I'm currently oh, regretting man. not watching more crap TV cop shows. I think we should petition for another quiz, but the one that isn't about detectives. Good no, idea. I, I, I'm prepared to have detectives in it. Just, oh, we just, should watch more uh, telly. There's like one that's not about made-up detectives <laughs> with implausible names like Mayo. It's actually, it's called um, Chili Sauce and it's got Roy Bremner in it. No, it's not. You're making all this up and you've been to Wikipedia and fiddled it to make us look stupid. No yeah. change there. You've been the listening to Gareth Jones on Speed with it. Zog. Goodbye. With Richard. Goodbye. With Violet Berlin as the voice of <laughs> Dave Stebbings. Hello. I mean, goodbye. <laughs> and well, thank you to Dave, Dave Stebbings. Stebbings as well for sending yeah. stuff in. If yeah. you're listening to this and you fancy sending in a quiz, which will ultimately just confuse us, then um, <laughs> please go ahead. Uh, coming up now, after this show, another episode of Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> To send us an email, see pictures, get song lyrics, join our Facebook fan site or follow us on Twitter, go to garethjones.tv. Gareth Jones on Speed is made in London by Whizbang. Gareth Jones!